What is going on, everybody? It is me, your boy Pruitt. We're back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan. That in today's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan, where we are going to be having intros with the Planetary Destruction team. So, first intro. Since we are doing the Fighting Legend Goku, I was like, might as well, you know, why not freaking use uh, what's gonna call it the intro stuff? Since um, it's really not all that serious, honestly, and I feel like it wasn't gonna take me more than like two attempts to be able to finish whatever I have to complete. But thankfully, all of the runs that I needed to do did not take that long. So yeah, um, here we're just gonna beat the crap out of Goku, and then you know, it will just send off right here. And then of course, we have the next entry animation is gonna be happening in the next rotation as Troll is, dude, because we are fighting against a Goku family um, unit. So yeah. That's gonna, this is my first time actually using Turles too, since I have gotten him and obviously don't want to awaken him. So yeah, now let's go see that intro animation with this guy, because it's actually pretty darn cool if you ask me. Dude, this color scheme of that freaking intro goes so hard too, honestly, if you ask me. But guys, the most important thing of any of my freaking videos, of course, is you guys. How are you guys doing? Hopefully, all you guys are doing fan freaking testing. And I feel like the if you haven't seen the length of this video, it probably would have been a minute or two minutes shorter if I did have the intros, you know, what's gonna call it, uh, skip. And, you know, we just would have, uh, you know, just just done this normally. But, like, obviously, like I said, this is my first time using Turles, so I definitely wanted to see that freaking intro animation for freaking uh, Turles, which I feel like I, you know, even though I'm I'm probably not gonna use Turles ever again until you know until the fur until whenever you know we need an M again to complete a mission. Um I feel like it, it'll be a good time right now to just read off his details even because like I think I don't even know in this run if I like looked in the you know in his details, I'm like, dude, what is he doing again? But anyways, um his 12 key super attack, he raised attack or he stacks attack and causes immense damage to enemy and recovers six percent HP, which is pretty darn dope. And then his uh what's called his whole pass which is just freaking paragraphs, dude. But uh, Miss Pass skill, if there's a Goku ca uh, Goku's family uh, category enemy or an enemy whose name includes Gohan Kid, a start of uh, character's attacking turn, activates the entrance animation once only, and extreme class allies keep plus 3 in attack plus 18% of the rest of the battle, which I think the, ex the ex extreme class allies keep plus 3 for every rotation, like no matter, even if Turtle is not a rotation, does I, I don't recall honestly because it's been a, a while since I, like, I read about these details for uh, Turtle and if I've seen them in action, but yeah, but that's not too bad, honestly. Permanent key, uh, you know, key, uh, you know, supporting your uh, extreme class allies and giving them an attack boost, no? Which I'm pretty sure, yeah, that attack boost for all allies as well. But yeah, anyways, continuing on. Attack and defense launch 60% and then plus an additional attack plus 60% and launch an additional attack. That's a high, high chance of becoming a super attack when HP is 50% or more. So obviously getting the HP from, um, you know, his, what's it called, his super attack is going to help us out a bit because we're going to be able to launch an additional attack because of our HP. So that's pretty darn good. And then plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. And then key plus 2 up to uh, plus 8. And then reduces damage received by 5% up to 20%. And then plus an additional defense of 40% up to 160% with each super attack performed. Which, you know, dude, it's literally kind of difficult to do. Since And then like we just saw it right there. Dude, I was just doing normal attacks. We, we really want to get these um, what's called additional normals. But whatever, man. That That's just RNG for you in these units, right? And then plus an additional... Uh, oh, no. I just read that part. And then attacks affect them against all types and launch an additional attack that's a high chance of becoming a super attack starting from the turn in which the character performs the sixth attack in battle, which I think this is probably like our what? Our fourth attack that we launched, our fifth attack that we launched. So after the next rotation, uh, once we, the, the, this guy appears again, so he has like an, an, another chance of launching an additional attack that's a high chance of becoming a super attack. So yeah, quite the amount of super attacks he's going to launch. And then actually, now that I think about it too, not only are we stacking attacks from each of those freaking attacks, you know, being launched, but um, we are also rege uh, regenerating HP, so that, that is going to help us quite a bit, honestly. So yeah, um, here, um, putting up uh, Kuro in front first because obviously he stacks defense. So I'm like, might as well just stack up the defense here. And then I uh, highly doubt this guy was going to be able to finish this guy off here. So then, you know, just put the freaking uh, LR final form Kuro in the middle slot since he's going to stack a uh, super, uh, not super attack. He's going to stack freaking uh, attack, attack stats with um, each 18 key plus super, uh, 18 plus key super attack that he launches, right? So yeah, here, we're gonna be doing a big chunk of damage as you saw there, I think it was what, like 10 mil or something like that. But yeah, and then what also helps too, if uh, freaking my, what's my, um, Final Cora is freaking 90% dude. So yeah, we're gonna do quite the amount of damage. And then here, 
Dude, when I saw this guy was in, I'm like, ooh, dude, this here, we might do a good chunk of damage here. And then I, I one thing I found weird about is that I think my LR Final Four crew is not, like, you know, fully built up yet. I don't know how much attacks we have to do to fully build him up, but this guy, freaking course, dodges it. I think this one, he does not dodge, though. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? I think uh, we haven't been building up too much for my LR Final Four crew, but you know what? It happens. There's nothing we could do about it. And then, dude! Freaking three super tags and freaking uh, one two. Can we do one? No, I think we have to wait till the, the following rotation to do like another chance of. Uh... Oh wait, no! What the hell? So we did four tags there. I think so, right? And then here I was like worrying about like, dude, are we gonna take a lot of damage? Thankfully we did not because I think we have the damage reduction up. And of course with each super tag we're launching, we're freaking getting defense. So that's that's dope if you ask me. And then here, uh, this guy is he gonna do what he's gonna do best? <laughs> oh, God, dude. I mean, it was only a normal, but. Dude, normal and a crit, it's still pretty darn good if you ask me. So I'd rather take, um, you know, critical hits and whatnot. But yeah, here this guy does an, uh, another 12, uh, 12 key super attack. And then another one, dude, which the first, obviously the one before that was a crit. And then here, if he does not do a crit, um, I think we should be fine because the LR final form freeze is going to be able to finish this guy off. Right? Because, of course, we're fighting against a freaking Goku family unit. Or I think, no, not, it doesn't have to, it, it's not Goku family. If we're fighting literally a Goku unit, uh, we're going to be doing uh, critical hits, right? So... Yeah, I'm, oh, dude, it would have been pretty busted if we, if we just fought like a Goku family unit. That that Frieza would have been freaking what's gonna call it, just doing performing crits, right? But yeah, I think this is like one of the few times that we'll get we'll be getting those crits from that passive skill. But anyways, um, I think I do the um the active skill for this guy, so let's do it. Dude, when I activate this guy's active skill, I'm like, dude, why can't I activate freaking um, Ella Final from Kuro's um, active skill? Which I have to look at it right now because I'm like, dude, what is going on here, dude? I should be able to use this guy's active skill, but let's read them off here. Like, what are the conditions? So, can be activated after performing eight or more attacks in battle. Holy hell. And then greatly raises the attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy. Disables enemies action uh, once within the turn. Okay, so we still haven't launched um, apparently eight attacks with this guy. So, um, anyways, this guy just doing normals back to back to back. I'm like, dude, please just do your freaking what's it called your regular super attacks, dude. Because uh, um, this guy, he is doing um, guaranteed what's it called. He's doing guaranteed critical hits because we are uh, fighting against um, a, a pure sand enemy, or it could be a, a hybrid sand enemy too. So yeah, that's. I think here we take a good chunk of damage, which I'm surprised honestly because if you haven't noticed, we we did stack quite a bit. So I thought we were going to be able to tank that, like, uh, better. It surprised me. Like, literally the previous... I mean, uh, this guy easy at first in the freaking uh, uh, future chunks, right? The, the tech one in particular. So I, I was surprised that that chunks took... You know, what's it called? Took double digits for this guy's super tech. And then here's this dude freaking stacking uh, defense. And we're just, like, uh, taking, like, about 100-something K. So I, I thought it was a bit off. But, yeah, this guy... Um, what's it called? The... Uh, the final form Kuro in the first slot, obviously the transforming one, the active skill. Then I hate this guy freaking dodge my freaking uh, super type. But anyways, the first the first unit in this on the rotation, key plus one attack and defense on 200, and then launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, and then chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% per rainbow keys we obtain. But then he performs a critical hit when there is a pure saints or hybrid saints category enemy, obviously, which is this guy. And then dude, oh my god, this guy literally has a sliver of health. But that means we can use the active skill for this guy freaking Charlo. So let's do it. <laughs> Honestly, very unclimatic um, active skill to finish him off. But I feel like it would have been better, obviously, with the LR Final Form, Final Form Kuro's um, active skill. And, you know, just seeing this guy freaking laughing at the destruction he just caused. But, you know... Turles, I'm, I'm down. Never gonna use him again. But here is probably the, <laughs> here is where I freaking um, you know, clear the run. I think I, did I go? To, I don't know what I did here. I'm, I feel like I went to the bathroom, thinking I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm just gonna let the thing rock, and then you know, yada yada yada. And then after you know, wash my hands and whatnot, I, I I come back, and then I'm like, dude, oh my god, dude, I'm just staring at the freaking front screen, dude. I didn't even go to the freaking results screen to show you guys like the units I saw, even though obviously. Throughout this whole video, you'll know what units I use and whatnot. Because, well, we had, like, about, like, plus 
eight rotations, something like that. So you, you should have you should have gotten a good chance to see what units I'm using for this uh, team. And then obviously. In the beginning of the video, you could just pause it and whatnot and then see what units I use right here. I, here I come back. But anyways, guys, that's going to be guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out, everyone.